G'day. It's Dave from Down Under here again. Again, we're going to go through another tech tip, and today we're going to talk about the motor controls. So there's a range of motor controls that may be installed upon your coach. You could have everything from slide outs to an awning to a bed lift, stab jacks. There's a range of different features that have motor controls. Now there's some really important things you need to know about the motor controls. As you know, you can operate the RV Master from not only the console, but also from your mobile phone. And it's really important to remember that it'll only operate on one device at a time for the motor controls. Other functions, you can have a bit of a war with the missus or the kids with the lights or something, but with the controls, if you activate it here, because you have to hold your finger down, it won't be active on your mobile phone at the same time. The other really big thing is the safety aspect. Once you turn the ignition on in the RV, it will automatically send a signal here to the master node, and as a result, it will shut down all motor controls. Of course, it'll also happen, the same will happen on the app. So you could be driving down the highway and your son's got their mobile phone in the back seat. RV master, what's this, dad? Slide outs. Ah! Not going to happen, don't worry. It's all going to be deactivated as soon as that ignition goes on in the vehicle. But what you've got to be mindful on the other side is that if you haven't bought the awning in, haven't bought the slide out in, or one of the other motor controls, and you turn the ignition on, it's still going to be sitting out. And you may be pressing on your phone or on the RV master here, why won't this go in? Tip. Turn the keys off, take them out in the pocket and then go and activate your RV master on your phone or here and you'll be able to see it working. All right, let's have a little bit of a closer look. It is quite simple. Key thing to remember, when you are activating the motor controls, unlike say the water heaters or the lights, you can just press the button quickly. Here, you've actually got to hold the button to retract or extend the actual motor controls. So in or out, up or down, you have to hold your finger on the button. Let me show you how it works closer up. All right, here we go. Lesson on our motor controls. Zooming in a little bit. Now it's not on the front dashboard, so be wary of that. This icon here, third one down. Looks like a little cog turning around. All right, now it depends upon what features, as I said before, you've got set up. If you can't see the feature that you're looking for, just try sliding down the screen. Here we are, for example, our bunk lifts. This is the one where we put the kids to bed then raise them all the way to the roof and let them out in the morning. No, only joking, kids, only joking. All right, here we go. Hold the button down. Now, as you can see, if I just press quickly, it doesn't stay on and it won't raise or control the motor. So, again, let's say try a stab jacks. We need to hold this down. All right, pretty simple. So there you go, just keep your fingers on the button to make any of these features work. And this will be the same whether it's on the, on the console here on the wall or whether it's in your mobile phone in your hand. Hey. Me again, I forgot to mention, when you're using the motor controls, you can only use one motor at a time. I know you've got two fingers, but only one button at a time.